This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Trimax model TPL1251S round body padlock. It was sent to me by Evan in Prescott, Arizona, who noticed that it had a completely different model number from the similar looking lock that I featured about five years ago. He was curious whether Trimax had redesigned the lock and fixed all the problems. Well, I looked into the new model number on the company's website, and I'm pretty sure the difference is attributable to a different length shackle, not a new product. That said, it has been over five years since video number 624, in which I told Trimax how to fix the biggest problem with this lock. It was something that would have been relatively cheap to do, so let's see if they made the effort. But first, we are going to pick this open. I'm going to use top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths thick ergo turner and the standard hook from the Genesis set. These are both available over on covertinstruments.com. Nothing on one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six is binding nicely. Nice click there. Five, click out of five. Four is binding. Nice click out of four. Three is binding. Nice click out of three, click out of two, click out of one, and we got this open. Same as before, all standard pins. Now, the old version of this lock had an unshielded keyway that allowed us to reach all the way through the core and directly actuate the locking mechanism. Hopefully they fixed that and put some shielding in here. To check, we're going to use the padlock bypass driver that I sell as an expansion pack for the Covert Companion. I'm gonna reach all the way in, maneuver it into position, and it pops right open. Clearly, there is no shielding back there. Let's do it one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. And one more time, we got it open very quickly. Okay, folks, obviously that's a disappointment. Security professionals have known about this issue for at least 30 or 40 years, so there is no excuse for the vulnerability on a modern lock. Now, I know I've explained this flaw in several past videos, but it has been a while, so let's take this one apart and I'll show you why this works and how to fix it. To take it apart, there is a Phillips screw right down the shackle hole. Now remove the security nut, the security plate, and now the whole core should drop out. Now if we look into that core pocket, we can see a small wedged shape piece. If you rotate that, it allows the lock to open. Under normal operation, it is this half moon shape piece on the back of the core that turns it. Unfortunately, you can turn it with something else. I can take this bypass driver, reach all the way through, and turn that wedge-shaped piece with the tool. Now, fixing that is relatively easy. We can reclock the wedge and this tail piece roughly 90 degrees. That makes it extremely difficult to do. Or if you want just a patch, you can use one of these little anti-bypass shields. They fit right over the back of the core and they block the tool from moving through. This is a common enough problem that I do keep a supply of them on hand so I can fix padlocks. Folks, like I said, this is a very well-known flaw, so I can't help but to be disappointed when I see lock companies repeatedly making the same mistakes over and over again. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.